We're here with North Chad O'Meara in uh, the end of a season. It doesn't matter where you play, what sport you play. is never a fun fun thing. And uh, tonight you guys just ran into a team to play better. Yeah, man. They, they play great basketball. They executed the game plan better than we did ours. Got to give them the credit. They're a great team. That's it. You guys like struggled to get the ball in the basket early, which is very unlike you guys. You were so efficient offensively the whole year. Um, what do you think that was attributed to? I really, I really don't know, honestly. I think just like what I mentioned, man. They they make we do things we don't normally do. You know, they they pressure us a little bit. We we we, we didn't do what we had to do, and they play better basketball tonight. Uh, so obviously, you still have eligibility. Um, and probably will be back next year. Um, how fast do you guys move past this and start building uh, towards the new season? Yeah, you know, it's not easy. Nobody likes to lose. You know, we came, we came a long way. You know, it was a tough loss, but, you know, we just got to bounce back next year. What makes uh, those two big men so, so hard to deal with now that you've experienced it? Huh? What makes their two big men so hard to deal with now that you've experienced it? No, I mean, I didn't think it was hard to deal with. I think like we didn't play Miami basketball. You know, we we did what they wanted us to do. You know, the guards play really good. They shoot the ball really well. You know, yeah, I think that's about it. What was the game plan? Uh, Trying to slow down Sonoko. Play together, you know. Stay together. When he put the ball on the floor, go get it. No, we we did it a little. We get on that run. Zay came, dig, steal, twice, steal the ball twice. But you know they they keep they keep the poise. They keep hitting shots. And, you know they did what they do. I know that it's tough in a game like this when the season ends. But to put in perspective how special this season was, how proud of you are this team and what you were able to accomplish. I mean, I'm I'm so proud of my brothers, man. We we came a long way. We we worked since the summer, you know. We begin with the end in mind, you know. We we work hard to get here. Not a lot of teams get here. It's just four teams out of. 360 something, I don't know, but you know, I'm just so proud of everybody. You know, it was a great season. You got to give UConn credit, they play great basketball. That's it. Norchad, how do you feel about leaving the program after this year? Just the rise, you coming in, just how do you feel the state of the program moving forward? How much does this help? I think we're in a good spot right now. I really feel good. You know, last year, Elite Eight, this year, Final Four, I think we're in good hands. Coach L, Coach Bill. They just been doing such a great job with the recruiting and you know bringing guys. I just feel good. I'm just so proud of everybody here in the locker room right now. Despite the sadness from everybody in the locker room, you guys by far made history for the program. That's known to be mostly a football school. How does it feel to become the catalyst to usher in a new era of Miami basketball? We were a basketball school, man. That's all I can say. We were a basketball school. We we've been doing great. You know, I'm just so proud of everybody in the locker room.